And we say hello to uh, James Creighton. Hi, Francois. So just to look at some of uh, the reactions coming up on, on Twitter, for the most part, uh, to uh, all of the unrest uh, in, in India. Um, this is an image, I'll start with this one, from uh, a couple of weeks uh, back, well, 16th of February, so about 10 days ago. Um, the, the, the Twitter user here calls it a beautiful photo, and indeed it shows a grandmother, uh, ostensibly a, a Muslim from the Muslim uh, faith, uh, putting her head on the Delhi police, a Delhi police officer's um, beret. And... So she's blessing him, if you like. This happened earlier today when a delegation led by daddies met cops and sought permission to march to the Home Minister's residence, who is seen as, you know, Modi's right-hand man, if you like, uh, to meet him. Cops assured them uh, that their request will be taken ahead. So I suppose a touching image of uh, a sort of people reaching across those divides, and unfortunately uh, that seems to be very much forgotten uh, in the last 24, 48 hours. This is a, a story that's got an awful lot of attention. An 85-year-old Muslim woman, um. Akbari, she was burnt to death after a mob set fire to her house chanting uh, Jai Shri Ram. I am just gutted, says uh, Rana Ayub of the uh, Washington uh, Post, J tweeting Jai on Shri that. Jai Shri Ram, which means? Uh, Jai Shri Ram is basically a slogan, it means Praised be the Lord Ram, but it's a slogan which is repeatedly used by Hindu supremacists and especially by mobs, lynch mobs that are out in the streets. In 1992, when the Babri Masjid was uh, brought down, Jai Shri Ram was the slogan. And uh, even now, the inflammatory speeches, Jai Shri Ram is the slogan. Mm. And this is a slogan that is very often used by right. the BJP uh, Hindu nationalism. Right, so certainly an example there of that slogan being used uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a terrible, terrible way. Um, so just to point out that a Shaheen Bag was a place which became symbolic of the movement against uh, the Citizenship Amendments Act, which provides a pathway to citizenship, but, it's, but it sort of uh, discriminates against uh, Muslims. Uh, but it has now moved to other parts of the city as well. Anyway, more comments here. Until Narendra Modi, uh, uh, India was an example of a well-functioning liberal democracy where religions and creeds cohabited in relative peace. His poisonous rhetoric is at work here in, the, in these uh, scenes of, of violence. And Narendra Modi took to social media today with a message that is very much uh, uh, one of peace and harmony, despite uh, past rhetoric. Peace and harmony are central to our ethos. And he went on to make further statements, hoping that peace will be restored. Our fight against the Citizenship Amendment Act continues, writes one Twitter user. Our fight against your fascist regime continues. Our fight for self-respect and dignity continues. So very much um, the, the fight, if you like, is kind of being transferred onto social media. And then you have others further down uh, shouting their support for uh, the CAA, which of course has become a sort of a lightning rod for the divisions. India is the biggest secular democracy of the, secular democracy of the world, is the biggest lie ever told. And you can see images there of a minaret uh, being burnt or torn down, not just one indeed. Um, now, it's worth pointing out that of course it's not a clean division. Here you can see members of uh, the Hindu uh, faith um, against uh, the CAA. So I think it's, it's, it's fair to say that it's not, um, you know, completely ethnocentric in terms of uh, the divisions. Uh, but we're seeing now uh, um, that there's been a massive amount of protests on in other parts of Delhi as well. Uh, this is uh, one of the main thoroughfares, I believe, and it's called Occupy Kerala Raj Bhavan. I'm sorry if I don't know exactly where it is, but that, that hashtag has been used uh, in a bid to rally people uh, and to sort of, you know, occupy that, that, that public space uh, in a demonstration of opposition. Now, obviously lots in the press as well in India uh, and uh, Amit Shah, the Home Minister, uh, quite a lot of criticism of him for sort of veiled comments that would have almost uh, given a permissive, that were quite permissive to allowing, uh, uh, I suppose, mobs uh, sort of a free reign, if you like. A lot of people um, very, very angry with, with remarks uh, he's made in the past. Yeah, the opposition's been calling for his um, resignation this, uh, the, this Wednesday. Right, and the, there's opinion pieces as well uh, going up in the Indian press. This is a piece in the Indian Express where one journalist speaks about Hindu, Hindutva mobs basically checking her ID um, and acting as police officers almost, uh, wanting proof that she, was a, that she was a real, or he was a real uh, Hindu. I'll just finish with this comment. What has been going on in India is properly scary. It is, a genu it is genuinely in question whether it can retain its status as the world's largest democracy while ethno-nationalism is ravaging its social fabric and destroying its institutions. All right. Lots of comments like that going up. Lots of also. comments on both sides. Many yeah. thanks, James Creed. And I want to thank our panel once again. Thank you for joining us here in the France 24 debate.